Boruto, ten times Naruto proved he was the strongest ninja alive. Naruto is a hero to his village the ninja world as a whole. When has he proved he's the best ninja in the Boruto series? Naruto Uzumaki is the seventh Hokage of Kanahagakur in the Boruto series and quite easily one of the most important characters in the story. Having reached the pinnacle of strength after the fourth great ninja war, Naruto Uzumaki surpassed all the shinobi who lived before him, and in the Boruto era, he continues to be the strongest of all time. With the threat of Kara and the Atsutsuki clan looming on the world, the yellow-haired ninja has had to prove himself as the strongest of all time on several occasions. 10. When he was sure to defeat Nu with one blow. Nu is a creature that was used to destroy Kanahagakur during the very first anime-only arc of Boruto. Its powers appeared to be very similar to that of a tailed beast as the entire village could well have been destroyed by its rampaging. Nu was quite strong yet Naruto Uzumaki was certain that he could take it down in a single attack. The only reason he didn't do so was because of its ability to absorb chakra and grow stronger. 9. When he intimidated Shin Uchiha with his chakra. Naruto Uzumaki may be strong, but he isn't needlessly merciless. Upon facing the Shin Uchiha clones, who are experiments of Orochimaru, he was able to break their spirits without actually engaging them in battle. The clones were intimidated by one look at his intense aura and the power of the nine-tailed beast that was within him. Only a shinobi as strong as Naruto could have pulled it off. 8. When he protected Kanahagakur from Mamashiki's attack. Mamashiki Atsutsuki was one of the major antagonists of the Boruto series, and he attacked Kanahagakur to gain the chakra of the Nine Tails. His initial clash against Naruto didn't go as the Hokage would have liked due to numerous civilians being around him. To protect the village, he was able to contain the strongest of Mamashiki's attacks and direct it toward himself. Thanks to his Nine Tails power. In doing so, he protected the village. 7. When he fought Mamashiki at half his power. Naruto Uzumaki was able to take on Mamashiki in a proper fight after being transported to a different dimension. Despite having half of his chakra drained, Naruto, along with Sasuke Uchiha, was still able to overwhelm Mamashiki Atsutsuki in combat. His six paths powers were great enough to keep up with Mamashiki. Although it was Boruto Uzumaki who finished him off. The majority of the work in the fight was done by the 7th Hokage and Sasuke Uchiha. 6. When he took Kawaki under his protection. Being affiliated with Kara, Kawaki was under surveillance for quite a while after he was brought back to Kanahagakur. Since he was stronger than most jonin in the village. Kawaki was looked after by Naruto Uzumaki personally. Not only did Naruto ensure that Kawaki had a family in him, but he was also the best person to look after him due to his overwhelming strength, which Kawaki certainly couldn't match at the time. 5. When he defeated Boruto in a sparring session. Boruto and Naruto have trained together on quite a few occasions and did so once again shortly after Kawaki became a member of their family. Despite Boruto using the power of karma, he was nowhere near to being a match for the seventh Hokage, who was holding back most of his strength. Only the strongest of shinobi can face off against karma users and not sustain any sort of injury. 4. When he survived Delta's strongest attacks during their fight. Delta of the Kara remains to be one of the strongest people Naruto Uzumaki has fought so far in the story. Due to her scientifically enhanced body. She was a threat to even the seventh Hokage. Throughout the fight, Delta proved to be powerful enough to injure Naruto heavily and even stabbed him through the gut once. Despite everything, Naruto healed back to normal within a matter of seconds, as expected of him. Even while holding back and trying not to kill Delta, Naruto was able to deal with her without much trouble. 
3. When he used the Super Ultra Big Ball Raisin Gan. Naruto's fight against Delta concluded with him using a new jutsu to overwhelm the chakra absorbing scientific technology that the Kara Inner had at her disposal. By creating the largest Raisin Gan ever seen in the story, Naruto was able to overload Delta's scientific technology and completely render her tools useless. The impact of the Raisin was so great that Delta was defeated in a single hit and could no longer move. Despite being a monster herself. 2. When he survived a fight against Jigen. Jigen was once the vessel of Ishiki Atsutsuki and quite easily the strongest in the story when he fought Naruto. His powers were incredible enough to overwhelm both Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha in combat. Although the two lost miserably to the leader of Kara, the fact that they were able to stand up to him and push him to exhaustion is a feat in itself. Only the strongest of characters, such as Naruto and Sasuke, could have accomplished such a task and lived. 1. When he used the Baryon mode against Ishiki Atsutsuki. Naruto Uzumaki became the strongest of all characters in the story during his fight against Ishiki Atsutsuki. Using the chakra of Kurama as raw material for new and greater chakra. Naruto was able to tap into the tremendous power of the Baryon mode. With this ability, he was able to overwhelm Ishiki Atsutsuki in battle with ease. Even the strongest of Ishiki's attacks didn't phase him and Naruto's overwhelming power remains to be the biggest reason why Ishiki is dead today.